Well, we learned earlier this week something we probably knew for quite some time now. The NFL draft for 2020 is going to look dramatically different this year. Teams are making selections virtually, and they're trying to avoid exposure during the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. We're here to talk about the Pittsburgh Steelers draft needs for 2020. It's Bob Pompiani, sports director for KDKA. How's it going, Bob? Oh, it's slow, Katie, but that's the way it's going to be everywhere in this country until things uh, change a little bit, and hopefully within the next month, can. Well, and hopefully, you know, with the draft coming up, even though it will look a little bit different, we're starting to get a little bit more sports news out there, which we haven't seen for quite some time. I want to talk to you today, Bob, about Steelers draft needs this year. Well, uh, like every team, I think no matter who you are, you're going to need things just in this free agent world, Katie. And the Steelers certainly have their needs. They, they took care of one of big ones, I thought, uh, a tight end. And they brought in Eric Ebron, who was a free agent. I was surprised they had the money to bring him in at two years, $12 million, but they restructured some contracts. You can make an argument they need another running back if they believe that James Conner is too injury prone to be their feature back, not only this year and beyond. I happen to be on the other side of that argument. I, I think if he's healthy, he can still be productive. And I think they have other needs. Inside linebacker depth. They lost three guys in free agency on the inside linebacker. Bud Dupree signs a franchise tag, but there's no guarantees going to go long term, which means you might have to drive a uh, draft an outside edge rusher just in case he leaves after next year. Uh, and on the offensive side of it, they have an aging offensive line. Some argue they need a quarterback. I would not be one of those people. I totally believe that, you know, they're going to believe in Roethlisberger's health. They have Mason Rudolph, Devlin Hodges. Some people want Jameis Winston here. To me, it's going to cost too much. Some people want to draft a quarterback at 49. That's too high to take one, I think. Uh, to be productive this year and next. There's so much uncertainty going on right now, obviously, in the sports world and outside of that. But what do you think changes-wise we might see for the NFL this season? Well, it's just going to be, uh, Katie, depending on when they start and if they start. Uh, President Trump went out the other day, met with commissioners, and believes they can start with crowds in September. That might be awfully ambitious. Um, I don't think you can ever give up on this virus. It's going to be out there until they find a cure and a vaccine. But I think uh, you know they can possibly start the season on time. I'm not of the belief they're going to have much of a preseason, not many preseason games, and it could well be no crowds to start. Are they willing to do that? You know, this is a TV business more than anything else. They want the television money that comes with it. Yes, it's nice to get people in the, in the stands, and it's kind of hard to imagine games with nobody there, but if that's the alternative, I think they'd be willing to make that choice. It's going to be interesting to see kind of how this all pans out, and yeah, especially with uh, the lack of much of a preseason. I mean, teams aren't even getting to get together right now, which is much different than what we've seen in years and that's, past. That's, that could be something hurtful to young quarterbacks like Joe Burrow, who would need time in OTAs, who would need time in mini camps and training camp. It would also might be difficult for guys like Ben Roethlisberger, who has not thrown the football, at least in an organized setting, and he may not get that chance until they actually get closer to the season. So those are important items, I think, for, especially for all young quarterbacks and older quarterbacks coming off injury. All right, Bob, thank you so much for speaking with us today. The NFL Draft 2020 starts this April 23rd. I'm Katie Johnston for KDKA News.